Hello viewers, welcome to Coding Interviews channel. Hope you are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I have created a bunch of playlists to cover various categories of problems such as stacks, queues, trees, linked lists, graphs, BFS, DFS, dynamic programming and so on. Please check them out. I have uploaded the code for this problem to the GitHub repository. You can find the link from description below this video. Let's jump into today's problem. Number of sub arrays with odd sum. Given an array of integers, written the number of sub arrays with odd sum. As the answer may grow large, the answer must be computed modulo 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. So basically, we are given with a, an array of integers, right? So from that, we are supposed to count how many number of arrays or sub arrays have odd sum, right? So this it says this answer may grow large. That means there might be uh, a few thousands of elements in the array that are possible, right? And if there are so many sub arrays with odd sum, so the sum may grow large at the end, right? So that's the reason why we are supposed to give the answer computed by modulo of 10 to the 9 plus 7, right? So that's what it is. So let's say if the number of elements in the array are n, right? So number of elements are n. So how many sub arrays are possible, right? So how many sub arrays, arrays are possible? So what is a sub array? Sub array is you pick some of the elements, but they should be consecutive. They should be next to each other, right? So let's take an example, this example three, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can pick any numbers which are adjacent to each other, right? So you, you have to take a string of numbers which are adjacent to each other. Whatever that, it could be called as sub array. You could take two, three, four, three, four, or even two, or even three, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So there are so many different sub arrays are possible but how many of them are total right so there are n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays are possible right for a array of length n so now now that we know there are n into n plus 1 by 2 number of sub arrays are possible right so if we take all those sub arrays and do a sum so sum will take for any given array it will take order of n so there are n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays and for each of them in order to get the sum it will be order of n so the total complexity would be order of n cube right in if you want to take each sub array and get the sum it will be order of n cube and then once you get the sum you will be able to verify whether it is odd or even and then you can count it so the whole process is going to take order of n cube time right if you do with a brute force method right so now we are going to do the improvement with some methodology so what we are going to do is we will take a cumulative sum right so what we are going to do is we will take a cumulative sum right so cumulative sum right so what is cumulative sum so cumulative sum is nothing but you keep on adding the elements starting from first element to the last element and store the su intermediate sum in a array so let's take this 135 as an example right that is our array so the cumulative sum will be so 1 4 9 right so that is a cumulative sum array so this is cumulative sum array right so now that we did a cumulative sum right what we are going to do is we will see how many of the sub arrays are having odd sum so in a given 135 right 1 is a sub array 3 is a sub array right and 5 is a sub array 1 3 is a sub array and 3 5 is a sub array right and the entire thing 1 3 5 is a sub array so these are all different possible sub arrays for us right 
so if you want to calculate in the brute force way you'll have to calculate the brute force way and come up with them but now now that we have this cumulative sum array how can we get the sub array sum of all these is the question right so what we are going to do is let's say we are at index i right so we are at index i what we are going to do is we are going to subtract the i sum whatever we are wherever we are right and add the current element right so what we are going to do is we are going to sorry we are going to subtract the current sum and add the number so here if we want to get the sum only until this point let's say right only until these two points what is the sum actually it is 3 plus 5 8 but what is in here 9 right so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract this from here okay got it so we will subtract 9 minus 1 that will be 8 3 plus 5 is 8 so we are going to use that methodology in order to get the sub array sum so but how many sub arrays are possible we said there are n into n minus n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays are possible so what we are going to do is in this particular approach since we went through the cumulative sum array it will take an order of n time that we know already right and on this array we will do these many sub arrays that is that means order of n square sub arrays and then do a sub array sum basically a calculation of the sub array sum so once that sum is even or odd we keep incrementing our counter let's go look at that particular code so to start with n is equal to nums length so to start with a count what i'm going to see is if the first number is uh, even or odd if it is odd you just increment the uh, i mean initialize the counter and then initialize an array which keeps track of the cumulative sum and put the first element into the array so whatever the nums that put into the array and what is your mod this mod will be 10 to the 9 plus 7 i have here since we are supposed to compute the modulo and throw the answer back right and now so this one is going to do the calculation of how many uh, sorry cumulative sum right so here in apart from doing the cumulative sum cumulative sum is array of i is equal to nums of i plus array of i minus one this is going to do the cumulative sum for us but in a, in addition to do the cumulative sum what i'm going to do is if the current number itself is equal to uh, basically it's an odd number or not if it is an odd number i'm going to increment our count because even a single number is also a sub array that's what we said right so if the numbers are 135 even 1 is a sub array 3 is a sub array 5 is a sub array so if those numbers itself are odd right we would increment the count otherwise we would look at the cumulative sum if the cumulative sum is also equal to I and mean basically is this odd sum then we will increment the count this what we are making sure is if it is a single number sum or starting from 0th element to the current element if that sum is also odd so these two are taken care these two cases are taken care so now the other cases where the middle sub arrays it could be ranging from 1 to 5 2 to 6 3 to 7 2 to 7 3 to 4 all those kind of sub arrays right that is our next task so count just do the count modulo with the mod the mod is initialized to 10 to the 9 plus 7 now since we know there are n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays right so we will start with our index 1 till n and how many sub arrays are there i plus 1 till n that many sub arrays are there so there are n into n plus 1 by 2 sub arrays so as long as i is not equal to 0 so basically this is actually not required since we are starting with 1 right so let's comment that out for now so if 
array of j minus array of i that will give us the sum so far but why are we adding nums of i plus 1 nums of i because it will also deduct the current sum that's why we are adding the nums of i as well so this will give you the uh, sub array sum from i to j okay this will give the sub array sum from i to j and if that is equal to even when we will we will not increment the count but basically we will add zero to the count but if it is odd we will add one to the count so these are n into n plus one by two number of sub arrays so count will be uh, modulored with the 10 to the 9 plus 7 so at the end we are going to return the count so what is the time complexity and space complexity for this so we are saying okay this is be order of n plus order of n square right so time is order of n plus order of n square right so at any given time for the larger numbers order of n will be much less than order of n square we will say order of n square is the total time complexity right and what is the space complexity we are using a cumulative sum array this array which is equal to length n so space complexity will be order of n right good so with the brute force we said order of n cube and we were able to bring it down to order of n square with this method and we used order of n space which is used which is a uh, placeholder to compute all our uh, cumulative sum right so but is there any further improvement that we can make is the question right so we are we we brought down from order of n cube to order of n square that's good and we incurred a order of n space but is there any better way that is possible yes so we could it seems like we can improve even further right so let's go ahead and look at that approach so we started with brute force which is order of n cube and we came with a better approach order of n square and we are going to see another even better approach for this right so let's go and look at that particular thing so to start with what we essentially need is we only care about two cases right there are only even sum and there is odd sum right so let's go to the uh, basics right so even plus even will be always even number right when you add two even numbers the result will be always even number but when you add a even number and odd number or odd odd number plus even number the sum will be always odd and if you add an odd number plus odd number the sum will be always even right so keep these in mind right so the thing is when you add two even numbers the sum is always even or you can say or when you add odd plus odd is also even right that means what we care about is something should be even and something should be odd then only we can get odd number as a result right so you could just go with okay 2 plus 2 2 and 2 are even 2 plus 2 is 4 4 is also even so 3 plus 3 3 is odd and 3 is odd even if you add both of them 3 plus 3 or 3 plus 5 3 plus 7 anything the result will, is going to be even but 3 plus 2 is 5 4 plus 7 is 11 they are all odd numbers basically when there is even and odd the answer is going to be odd so this is the trick that we are going to use in order to solve in a better approach than order of n square right so what we are going to see is as and when we keep adding the numbers and identify the cumulative sum basically while we go through the cumulative sum we realize okay a number will be odd or even but if the previous even if the previous number was even and the current number was odd then obviously the result will be odd even the vice versa if the previous number was odd and the current number is even the answer will be odd so in these two cases we are going to increment our odd counter in other cases we are going to increment our even counter 
So, while we increment our odd counters and even counter, we will keep the cumulative count, basically the number of sub array cumulative count and we will add them to the cumulative counter. So, this is the approach that we are going to use. So, keep in mind these two rules even plus even is even odd plus odd is also even even plus odd or odd plus even is always going to be odd. So, let us look at the code for this approach. So, n is equal to length of the numbers we will initialize the even to 1 and odd to 0 and mod is as always 10 to the 9 plus 7 we have initialized the current sum to 0 and the result whatever we want to re return is also 0. We will go through the entire nums array so and calculate the current sum. So, basically current sum is just the cumulative sum of all the numbers right. So, we append sorry we add the current number to current sum. If at all current sum is even right what we are going to do is we are going to add whatever the content we have it in odd to the result and increment the even right. So, increment the even and add odd to the result, but if the odd is if the number is odd that means the current sum is odd we add even to the result and increment the odd. So, this will go on and for each step we are going to do the result mod with the modular value right 10 to the 9 plus 7 that is the requirement anyway for us. So, this will be done for every step just in case you could probably do at the end, but if the result goes or grows too large in between that is the reason why I included this as part of the for loop itself right. So, the technique is very simple here the number could be any time odd the number could be any time even as long as it is odd we are adding the even count to the result as long as it is even we are count adding the odd count to the integer sorry result right. So, that is how we are able to solve this particular problem. So, if you look at the time and space complexity for this right time and space. So, how much time we are taking here? So, we are going through the entire array only once right that is order of n right good and what is the space complexity that we are using? We are using few variables here n even odd and mod is required current sum and result. So, these are all like few variables irrespective of the number of length number of numbers in the array we are using only 6 variables here. So, that means space is a constant here right. So, we were able to improve from order of n cube to order of n square and further to order of n with this particular approach. So, we can say ok this uh, algorithm is a linear time and a constant space algorithm. So, if you have any further questions on these 3 methods right. So, even though we talked about 3 different methods we saw the code for 2 methods whereas, uh, I we do not really have to see the code for the brute force right. So, it is al already included uh, in the explanation itself right. So, for order of n square we saw the code and order of n we saw the code right. So, if you have any further questions please post them in the comment section below this video. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I have posted this code to the GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description below this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends. Please click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about my future videos. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another problem very soon. Till then stay safe and goodbye.